A cat tests have been in the news a lot lately. Kids have been struggling to pass these very important exams. But one girl knows the secret. A local eighth grader got a nearly perfect score, and we mean perfect. She was only a half a point away from perfection. Yeah, joining us now on Good Day is Gabrielle Irwin, the eighth grader at Bridgewater Middle School, starting high school next year. Got perfect on the math, reading, and science, and got, what, a five and a half out of six on the writing, which means there was one person who graded your test out there didn't know what they were talking about. <laughs> they didn't about. know what they were doing. Congratulations, they were doing. Gabby. Thank you. Look at this. She's covering, you know, she's on front page of the right? single today. You got your own section there. What are you doing to get so darn smart? Well, I pay attention in school. I, that's all I guess. Do, I, do you feel like, I mean, when you went in to take the test, how were you feeling going into it? Were you nervous at all about it? I was nervous, but not as much as I am right now. Oh, she's <laughs> so this sweet. stuff's easy. She's Come on. So but sweet. after taking the test, I felt really good about it. So. But did you have any idea that you would aced three parts of this test? No, I didn't no think idea. I would. And what do you think about sort of all the hubbub everyone's making about how well you did now? Well, it's cool. <laughs> You said I, I saw some of the books. Was it your grandma that suggested you read some of these books here? I haven't even read these books, Amy. Uh, some uh, classics. Right. You're getting ready to start high school next year. What are some of the books you're reading this summer to get ready for um, that? Well, there's a lot of difficult books my grandma wants me to read, like War and Peace. I don't know much about it <laughs> yet. <I'm with> you. <laughs> and then I've been working on Anna Karenina for a while, but I've read I Know Why the Caged Bird Sings by Maya Angelou. And then I also read some things like The Hunger Games just for fun, though. That's good. That's good for you. What else do you do for fun? Because obviously there's more to you than just just studying all the time. Mm -hmm. I love to paint, and I'm in a lot of bands at school. You play well, bass guitar, right? Yes, I do. How did you decide? I mean, that's among what? Saxophone and everything else you yes. play? How did you decide bass guitar is what I want to do? Well, I, nobody really plays it, and I thought it would be cool if a girl played it. So I started on it in jazz band. Good for you. You are so spunky. So what about your dreams for the future? Are you planning to go to all four years of high school? Or are you planning to ditch after your sophomore year and run off to Harvard? No, I'd like to do four years of high school. <laughs> what about down the road? What do, what do you envision yourself um, doing? I think I want to major in music, but then after that, I would settle down in a career in the medicine field, medical field. And talk to me about why that is. What, who has um, inspired you? My mom is a doctor, as well as her brothers. My uncles are um, neurosurgeon and an orthopedic surgeon. So. so you're around that a lot. Yes. Now, you, you know, a lot of people think you get better at taking these tests over the years. You know, you, you start in the whatever, first grade, second grade, third grade, and you just keep getting better. But this is, was this the first year you took the FCAT? No, I started in sixth grade, actually. OK. Mm -hmm. So you started taking it in the sixth. Yes. Did you do well all along, or is this one I just I did a, pretty well. Okay. I just never got perfect scores. So what advice do you have to the other kids out there? Because obviously you know there's a lot of controversy about the FCATs right now. What advice would you give to other kids about these tests? Um, well, advice for other kids would be just to listen to your teachers when they tell you to get a good night's sleep throughout the year and a good breakfast, but also reading anything you possibly can, whether it's newspapers or magazines. It's really important because it helps out a lot. Gabby, do you like us? <laughs> because we'll probably be working for you someday soon. Exactly. So we want to make sure we're on your good exactly. side. Exactly. Again, Gabby Irwin. You are so sweet. Perfect Thank on the FCADs. Good job. Thanks Congratulations. For being with us. Congratulations. All right. We're I like take you a too, Gabby, break. just for the record. Okay. We'll be right back.